Hello Pisces! Welcome to your timeless reading and welcome to my channel. I am so grateful to have you here. Um, I have recently opened up this channel to all zodiac signs so the community will feel more inclusive. Um, but spi uh, I almost called you all Spices. <laughs> uh, Spices, you all have a special place in my heart. I myself am a Pisces sun. Uh, and I am a Pisces South Node, whew, which makes for a very interesting path, let me tell you. With that said, I would love to hear um, your South Nodes. I want to know what your path is like. Um, Virgo is my North Node, so it's like taking me, my journey is kind of like taking me from this dreamy, metaphorical, watery energy into the nuts and bolts of practicality, and that's been super hard for me. So I would love to hear about your journeys as my fellow water signs. Um, I am going to shuffle these. I do shuffle off and on screen, um, just so that you're aware. And also, I want to make you aware of a deal that I have going right now. Through December 31st, 2023, I'm offering BOGO readings. So that is buy one, get one free readings through December 31st of 2023. If you would like uh, to buy one, get one free reading, you can reach me at Pisces Power Readings at gmail.com. Okay? All right, I'm stoked about doing your reading. Let's get started. I do want to thank and welcome in the Archangels who help me and oversee this channel. Archangels, I just request that you infuse this reading with your frequencies, vibrations, predictions, affirmations, and anything that my viewers have need of when they drop into this space. All right, Pisces, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with this Energy Oracle deck. I'm going to pull between one and three, depending on how the energy is flowing, and then we'll move to the Tarot and exit with Moonology, okay? So we're getting started with the Garden and the Gate, number 30. Perhaps you are 30 years old, or this number is a favorite jersey number, or the number resonates with you in some way. If that is a number that is significant in your life. Just know that this reading is for you, okay? So we have the garden and the gate. Um, I'm feeling, Pisces, like you feel like you've been restricted from abundance. I've got this energy that's coming across of you can see what it is you want, which is a more lush life, um, a life that has more provision, okay? Uh, but you're outside the gate, and if you can see this person's expression, she looks a little apprehensive. Like, do I go in? Do I get to go in or not? Should I go in? And there's all these questions, and maybe you have those questions. Let me ask you this, Pisces. Are you asking yourself, am I going to get to be in the garden, or am I going to only ever be able to just look at it. Will I actually experience the provision, the abundance, the beauty of the garden? If that is true for you, would you click that like button for me and let me know? Uh, I am going to go ahead and pull another card. Magician in the Mirror. Magician and the Mirror. Number 53. Uh, perhaps that number resonates with you. It may be your 53, or it's a favorite jersey number. Um, magician in the mirror. And so, I'm hearing the words smoke and mirrors. I'm hearing the word manifestations. So, I feel like, Pisces, that you're feeling a bit disillusioned, okay? It's kind of like you've been working on manifesting some things for yourself. Um, and it's like they halfway manifest. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, they just kind of, 
it's like you only get to see them from a distance. You don't actually get to enjoy them in the manifested fullness of your reality. And uh, so you're wondering and you're questioning, you know, is law of attraction real? Am I doing something wrong? Um, you've got a lot of questions, a lot of mystery. I'm going to pull one more. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, number 38. Oh, this makes a lot of sense. Um, so here's the deal, Pisces. In order for you to come out of this obscured, almost confused energy to experience the lushness of your manifestations, I'm feeling like with the presence of Archangel Raphael here, you're going to have some healing to do in your heart space. It is not that you're doing anything wrong. Um, it's not, you know, it's not necessarily like the law of attraction being wonky, which, you know, there's varying opinions on that. Um, but what I'm picking up on is your heart needs to heal because the wounds have you blinded. And that's the thing about pain. Am I right or am I right? When, when we're in any kind of pain, um, it tends to darken and shade and color the goodness that surrounds us, okay? It makes those things a little bit more obscure uh, depending on the degree of the wound in the heart. And it makes, us, it makes it hard for us to envision a future of abundance because we are so focused on the pain that's being felt, right? So it looks like, and I really also feel this too, I feel like Archangel Raphael is on the scene with you right now. And if you would like to welcome him in, he would be happy to help you um, work on your heart space and co-create healing and heal you with his power and his wisdom. Um, he is a wonderful healer and I have found his presence to be very light. Um, but he can be, he can be whatever you need him to be. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of feeling feeling that, that like if you could welcome him in, call him forward, um, he would be happy to help you healing your heart so that you can see better and so that you can experience that lushness that you've been calling in and you don't stay, you know, in this labyrinth of law of attraction trying to figure out what you're doing wrong or not doing right, okay? So just call on Archangel Raphael for healing of your heart and to help you simplify things uh, so that way you can experience what you're desiring to experience more quickly instead of being hung up in um, pain and confusion, okay? It is not uh, for your highest good to be hanging out in an energy of pain and confusion. And I can promise you right now, Pisces, that's not your destiny, okay? You are not destined to come here to only ever experience pain and confusion okay Whew, that is deep that is really really deep if that is if that feels true for you would you click that like button and let me know please all right I want to go ahead and get started on my uh, five card spread that is based on the five senses okay this is sort of like exploring them with a metaphysical twist to better understand how to navigate leverage and address the energies that we're um, finding up here, okay? So spirit in the area of touch, what does Pisces need to get their hands on? In the area of taste, what do my Pisces viewers have a taste for? In the area of smell, what is in the air for Pisces, spirit? In the area of hearing, spirit, what do you want Pisces to hear? And finally, in the area of seeing, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to see? In the area of touch, we have the Six of Wands. Pisces, you're wanting to get your hands 
on some victory, okay? You're wanting to get your hands uh, into what I'm hearing, some more creativity, more passion, more fire, more confidence, okay? And also, you could be involved with an air sign, okay? I mean, not an air sign, a fire sign, Leo, um, Sagittarius, uh, Aries could be in your energy right now, and you could be dealing with someone of a fire sign. And I'm also thinking some of you, if you do have a fire sign in your life, they may be a great facilitator for you to kind of help clear the energy of confusion and pain. They might actually partner with Archangel Raphael in helping you to get your heart space healed so that you can ride forward in victory and be celebrated, okay? This person who has just gotten the victory crown, the victory wreath, um, you know, they're cleaned up from their battle. They've already rested from their battle, and now they're returning back to their town, and the people have gathered to celebrate this person. And so I'm picking up on that is what you are going to be experiencing in a metaphorical way, of course, maybe in a literal way, who knows? But um, you're going to be celebrated. That's what you're going to be getting your hands on. And I know, Pisces, that is hard to see because your heart space is wounded, okay? And because you feel like you're in this labyrinth of confusion when it comes to law of attraction and manifestations, okay? I know this feels so foreign to you. But trust me when I say it is not and it is on the way, okay? In the area of taste, what does Pisces have a taste for? The Four of Swords. You just, you just want some peace. <laughs> and I don't blame you, Pisces. We have had, as a collective, we have had, many of us have had a very rough several years, okay? Even before 2020, things were rough for a lot of us. Um, and so what you're looking for and what you've got a taste for, what you're hungry for, is time to just contemplate and empty your mind and not have to think about the pain in your heart. Not have to think, what am I doing wrong? What am I not doing right? How do I do, how do, I do better? You know, you just want stillness of mind. You just, I'm hearing the words, you just want to be left alone. Like, you just, it's just like, just leave me alone. I just, give me, give me a few minutes. Give me, give me a few days. Give me a few weeks, hours, whatever that looks like for you. And let me just be for a while. Completely empty. And I think that would be great for you, Pisces. If you can um, have that kind of a space, I encourage you to take advantage of that. And who knows, maybe this Aries energy. Oh, you know what? I didn't even mean to say Aries. I meant to say fire energy. If you have an Aries who you think would be a partner with Raphael and helping you heal, click that like button. It lets me know, you know, like I'm tracking well with my readings and uh, working with spirits. So I would really appreciate that. Um, so yeah, maybe that's true for some of you. Maybe this person in fire energy can be the one, because we're kind of softies, right, Pisces? A lot of us are kind of pushovers, and maybe you need that strong, fiery friend, person, uh, significant other to say, hey, people, back off, leave Pisces alone, Give them a few days, give them a few hours, because maybe they won't take you serious, right, Pisces? Uh, because you're always so soft, and you're always so kind, and you're always so watery and feel good. So it might take that person helping you make that space where you can just empty. I feel like that so much is what you need to do, okay? And I feel like your intuition is prompting you to do that. So I just pray that you're able um, to experience that because I think it would be really, really beneficial for you. All right, Spirit, what's in the air for my Pisces viewers? The Three of Wands, more uh, fire energy coming through here. Um, 
I'm really getting a travel vibe here. This person, okay, so here's what I'm getting. This person has got, got the foot on the stone, right? Like they've conquered something. But you're looking across the sea and you're like, there's more out there to conquer. There's more land to get my feet on. And you're really, really wanting to travel uh, because that will help you with your creative endeavors, your creative pursuits. Perhaps some of you are writers or poets or artists or um, musical uh, artists. And I'm even hearing the word singers. Um, and traveling is really, really good for your soul. It helps bring things up from like, say, your root chakra um, into the stream of consciousness where you can create, okay? And so what I am hearing and what I'm seeing here, precious Pisces, is you're going to be able to do just that. It's only a matter of time. Now, I don't know what's holding you back from traveling. I don't know if, if it's this unhealed heart. Um, but whatever it may be, I'm picking up on the energy of like three months from the time you see this reading is when you will be able to take off and do more traveling and see the world. If that happens for you, will you please come back to this channel, drop in the comments, and let me know. I would love to hear that. It would really warm my heart, okay? Uh, so yeah, three months, about three months. If you watch this video at the time that I drop it, which is December the 8th, um, January, February, March, uh, you could be traveling for your birthday, Pisces. <laughs> How amazing would that be? But regardless of when you come across this video, just know it is in the cards for you regardless of the month, okay? All right, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to hear? <gasps> Seven of Wands. Pisces, Pisces, who is the fire in your life? Who is the Aries? Like there's a lot of fire energy here. Oh, you know what I just heard? I just heard that there's going to be like this fire energy. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot of downloads. Um, there's going to be this fire energy that drives out and flushes out the pain in your heart. Um... I'm hearing the words purification. Um, yeah. And I don't know exactly what form this is going to come in. I keep feeling like maybe it's going to come in the form of a friendship or several friends. Oh, Pisces, am I getting a major storyline here? Okay, bear with me. Are you ready for this? Pisces, because of what you have gone through, it has given you an elevated perspective, okay? And because you have an elevated perspective, right? A perspective that is above these other people, these other wands, you have to constantly defend your position because you're like, you know what, guys? You don't see this, but I do. I'm at the top of the hill. I have fought like hell to get up here, and I see what I see. I can't unsee what I have seen, and I'm here to tell you, you all are wrong. And this is like your friends rallying around you, like, you know, come down, you know, join us. You know, it's not that bad is the energy I'm getting. And you're like, no, it is that bad. I'm staying up here. Just, I get it and you you guys don't get it. I have never, ever gotten that energy off of the Seven of Wands, ever. So if you resonate with this, if this is true, if you feel this is true for you, would you click that like button and let me know, please? Um, so it looks like your friends are like, you know what, just join us, come down, let's talk. And um, you just, you're trying to protect your heart because you can't unsee all that you've seen, okay? So what, 
And it's not just that, but it's what you hear, okay? Like, all your senses are heightened. I'm feeling that, Pisces, like, psychically heightened. And it's like, you know, you haven't heard what I've heard. You haven't seen what I've seen. And what you need to hear, Pisces, is that it's okay to rejoin your group and not be on the defense you don't need or have to feel like you have to call people out and tell them they're wrong simply because you actually do know better because you've heard and seen more than they have. Just get back into the mix. Allow yourself to normalize. Allow your heart to sync back up with your friend groups, with your relationships, and see what you can do together as a group rather than a one-person army defending your position at the top of a hill alone. Oh, that is powerful. I feel like this tender compassion, sympathy, and mercy coming over for you from Spirit. Um, Spirit knows that you've been up in arms for quite a while because of all that you've been through. And... Um, just that you, you yourself are being heard, Pisces. So Spirit wants you to know, you know, not only was this what you needed to hear, that you could kind of return to normal and come off the defense and stop trying to prove your point just because you have more experience. But Spirit wants you to know, for as much as we want you to hear, we want you to know that we have been hearing you. Your cries in the night, your requests, your petitions, your questions, you also are being heard. And Spirit is affirming you and sending angelic help to help you return to normalcy and come out of this defensive position. It's not good for your nervous system, Pisces. Um, it's not good for your nervous system. And as I look at these wands, you know, they're all straight, and that reminds me of a spine, which is where our nervous system is located, right along our spine. And I just feel like you've been thrown off kilter. You see this wand is like sideways, and it just, it reminds me of like a spine and a nervous system that's off kilter. Um, and so what spirit wants is for you to be erect again, for you to stand flat-footed, on top of your challenges rather than on top of people who are trying to help you and trying to soothe you, okay? So that that's what you needed to hear. Spirit, what do you want Pisces to see? Oh, you needed this. Yes. Ace of Cups. This is you, water energy Pisces. Um, you know, Pisces... This is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. As you begin to normalize and your heart begins to heal and things become more cohesive in your life, you're being queued up for a very emotionally satisfying new beginning. And Spirit is saying, I'm just going to hand it to you. You've been through so much. Not only am I handing you um, this new beginning, but it's almost like you're being rewarded for all the crap that you've been through and the way that you've navigated and handled the pain. Um, it's almost like there's this energy of being a chosen one um, and being someone of excellence where you went above and beyond when many other people wouldn't have, when you took the high road, Pisces, every single time. So not only are you going to get a new beginning, but you're going to get recognition from the spirit realm, from the divine, about just how divine you are and how divinely you handled it, although in a human body. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. If that feels true for you, Pisces, would you click that like button? And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I hope that you will. It would mean a lot to me. 
Um, I'm working so hard to grow this space. It is a high vibe, safe space. A lot of you have been with me from the beginning. And um, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. You all were here with me um, through a very hard time. And I'm grateful for this community and the messages that I've received. Um, and I just, I can't thank you all enough. So if you haven't subscribed, if, the, if you're a Pisces and you're just seeing this, you know, for the first or second time or whatever, I hope that you'll come on board with us here. Um, and just get in on the good energy that is this channel, all right? Spirit, how do you want us to close out this reading? What is the exit sentiments? <gasps> Expect powerful change. Expect a new beginning. This is just confirmation. Oh, my precious Pisces. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, maybe expect it. I'm going to say expect it really soon. I just, I feel like this is a shortened time frame for you from, for whenever you see this video. Um, just know things are about to get better. Your emotions are going to be in a better place. And they're going to overflow with positivity and light and radiance. They're going to overflow with happiness and peace and joy. Um, it's going to be good emotions for you, Pisces, because you've had enough of the bad. You've had enough of the rest. You're going to experience the love that you deserve, the recognition that you deserve. Uh, and for some of you, I'm hearing the fame that you deserve. Um, so yeah, yeah, this is your reading. Isn't this beautiful? Um, I love how Archangel Raphael showed up. He always does. He's so good. All right. I just, I love the energy and I just, I want to linger here, but I'm not going to. Um, so please subscribe. Don't forget to buy one, get one free readings. If you would like to do a BOGO reading, you can reach me at Pisces Power Readings at gmail.com. That's Pisces Power Readings at gmail.com. And cheers to a new beginning for you, my precious Pisces. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next video.